Okay? Can I see that ball real quick? And all I want you guys to do, one of my, just a very, very simple turn is, you guys will start back here and I want you to start dribbling toward it. I want you to push the ball toward it. When you get right here, I just want you to essentially nutmeg yourself. You're gonna run right over the ball. And you can see what this has set me up to do now is turn and use that pinky toe and go the other way. So now I'm just gonna push it off and take off. Now, when you change directions, I want you to change pace too. So if you push this in here slowly, I want you to come in here. And when you get out, I want you to get it out from your feet. So when you turn, the biggest thing for me is to get it out from your feet. You can see if I approach this stick right now and I get right here and I turn and I push it to here, I can't get my feet apart. I can't take a long stride. I can't sprint. Okay. So when I do this turn, it's got to get out from my feet so I can take some long strides and really, really get away. Okay. So all I want you guys to do is start about right here and we'll, we'll make a little line. Like I said, I don't want to have lines, but it's individual stuff today. I just want you to push a ball toward that stick. We'll just step over it, get it out from your feet, and come back out, okay? You guys wanna hop over here? See if we can get a good few examples here. And I just want you to push it towards that stick, and let's go, okay? That's all right, we're gonna learn it. Go ahead, push it towards that stick. Good, now get that out from feet. Go ahead. Nice little flare. You can see everyone's got a little bit of a different style, a little bit of personal flair. And I've had kids ask me before if they're doing this and if they got it right. And for me, you never, it's never right or wrong. If you beat somebody and get away from them, or if you have to do a turn and you get away from them, I'm not gonna tell you you did it wrong. So add your own personal flair to it. Go up there and you gotta change directions. It's crowded there, so we're gonna get out of there. That's all right, you're still learning that one. It's a new one, that's fine. I want you guys to have new ones. Okay. Good. Let's get in there. And let's change pace. When we get out of there, I want you to get on your feet and really take off. Go ahead, get in there. Head towards that stick. A little step over there. And I get it out from your feet and take off. Good, good, good. That's what I want, real quick. Wes, will you do me a favor? Let's come from that angle now, okay? We'll come from that side, okay? Do you guys give that? I just want you guys to follow him there, okay? And come on in. We're going to do the same thing, okay? Little and then get out of there. Good. Show up from this angle. You got a little extra step in there. You're really confusing defenders now. Good. That's good. Did you just go with your right foot, then your left foot later? Brilliant. Good. Okay, get in there. And then we'll make this our last one. Okay? Good, good, good. All right. You want to do a Cruyff turn? You want to show a Cruyff turn real quick? Um, and I, I don't know if I can use the word Croy. One of the best things that uh, you can do when you get online here is, you, you, I, I am suggesting kids go online and look up some moves and look up some turns and things like Go on with your parents, go on to YouTube, look up some famous moves and turns, and there's a Corver series of moves. That is, it's brilliant, it's great stuff. It's been around for a long time, and they always call this turn a Croy turn, where you're gonna step over and put it behind your foot, kind of like the patterns that Tony was doing a little bit earlier. You know the turn that we're doing? That Croy turn right behind your leg. Once you push it towards the stick here, Kent. Okay, and you're just gonna go behind your leg and then take it with you, good. Now can we wrap the inside of our foot around that ball and really cushion it through and get it out from feet? You got, that was a great turn right there. Kenzie put her foot on top of it and turned it. Nick put his, the inside of his foot around, go ahead. And again, we're never gonna say this, that anyone's done it wrong, it's your own personal flair and the situation will call for you to do different things. So take it in there. Get a nice little turn, get it out from feet. But that is the thing I really, really want. No matter how you do it, if you put your foot on top and roll it back, you put the inside of your foot and cushion it, I want you to get it out from feet. Let's take it in here, get it out from feet, okay? It's a big inside of the foot turn. And then get it out from feet. Let's get in here. Good, let's get that out from your feet. And before you go, Alon, I want you to consider something for me. I want, a lot of times people do this with their heel or the kick at the ball. I want you to wrap your foot around. I want you to put the inside of your foot around. And I want you to wrap your foot around so much of your foot in contact with it that maybe I don't even actually hear you. You're going to cushion it. You're going to wrap your foot around it and drag it through there. I want you to have a, such a soft touch on the ball. Maybe I don't even hear you strike the ball when you do it. Can you just really wrap your foot around it now, okay? Get in there, really wrap that. That was perfect. It was a little off your heel there, but like I said, it worked. Okay, let's wrap your foot around it. Good. And we don't need to do it slower. I'm probably going to hear it. I just want you to cushion it. Okay? Good. 